Hello all, this is not a technical video. In this particular video, I'll talk about the upcoming videos that I will be uploading on my channel. I'll be uploading a couple of videos related to Rman Backup and Restore and how to duplicate the database. Since there are multiple videos that I'll be uploading, it might confuse you on what, which video to watch or what to watch. I do not like to waste your time. I want to I want to make sure that you pick up the right video as per your interest so that you can only watch the video that you are interested in in which will save your time and you don't have to go through each and every video. But finding the correct video might be difficult because if there are multiple videos on the same topic finding the correct video might be difficult. So this particular video will guide you on what the next videos are and which video to pick up. So the first video that I'll be uploading is the Armen Backup and Restore. And in this particular video, what we will be doing is like we will learn how to duplicate the database to another server. And once we duplicate the database, how to change the database name using NID. So this particular method of duplicating the database relies on traditional Armen Backup and Restore. Now, if the to duplicate the database, actually the Oracle gives you two different methods. One is called active database duplication and another one is backup based database duplication. So there will be two videos that I'll upload, one based on active database duplication where we'll duplicate database to another server with the same name and backup based duplication where we will also duplicate the database to another server with the same name. So basically video two and three is using the RMAN duplication but different ways of duplication and we will duplicate the database to another server. Now the I mentioned here short form because here we will be only concentrating on how to duplicate it with the same name on another server. So this particular video, this particular video two or three is for those people who are running short of time, who do not have a lot of time and they can just watch this particular video which will give them the concept of how to use the RMAN duplication. And this particular video will also talk about what's the difference between RM and active duplication and backup based duplication. Now, there might be some people who might want to use the RM and active database duplication or RM and backup based duplication to duplicate the database to another server but with a different name. So then I have covered video 4 and 5. So this particular video 4 is actually a repl replica of video 2, but here in video 4, we, we what we'll be doing is like we'll be duplicating the database to another server with same DB name and different DB name. So we will use, we will duplicate the database from the source server to destination. And when we duplicate it, we will duplicate it twice, once with the same DB name, once with a different name, different DB name. And because we will be duplicating it twice, this particular video will be slightly lengthy. And hence, this particular video is called as long form. Now, similarly, I'll be also covering how to duplicate the database to another server with same DB name and different DB name, but using the backup based database duplication. Also, this particular video will be long form because these two videos will be duplicating twice. And finally, I will also show you how to duplicate a database on same server using three different ways. And since we are going to duplicate the database using three different ways, this particular video will be really long. And what are the three different ways? How to duplicate a database on same server using RM and backup and restore, using active duplication and using RMAN backup based duplication. So stay tuned for this particular videos based on your interest or based on your need. You might want to pick up only one of these videos. This one by watching the video that you need for your work or for your personal learning, you can save your time and you don't have to go through each and every video. I hope this particular video was useful and this particular video will give you what to watch or what to look for in the upcoming videos. Thank you and see you in next tutorial. Till then, bye-bye.